Hello and welcome to the MPS Show, episode number 534. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. Um, yeah, if you're probably wondering, wait, wait, where's the camera person down to the bottom right? Um, camera is not working at the moment, so just gonna work with what I have. So let's get into the news. <coughs> so first up is... Full translation reveal Make Your Mark was allegedly cancelled due to rejection of AI voice work. Yeah, update to this. This has slightly been this debunk. The VA that reported all of this may have had an unfortunate, uh, sorry, an unofficial Hasbro contact uh, all along. So, <clears throat> post links and so on. But anywho, let's read the quote unquote drama and see what's wrong. <clears throat> Yesterday we posted about the use of AI in Tell Your Tales Season 2 for various languages, language dubs around the world, but further translation of the conversation has revealed something pretty star um, startling. Apparently, Court Lane, producer of Make Your Mark, allegedly called off the project entirely when Hasbro demanded they use AI in the second season of the show. We still have a lot of digging to do here, but multiple uh, French speakers have confirmed that this is what was said, including right here in the comment of EKD. <clears throat> of course, it it's always possible that more <coughs> a possible that more was to blame for the lack of future Mercury Mark episodes. Way back at the beginning of G4, something similar allegedly happened with Friendship is Magic in terms of creative differences between Staff and Hasbro. In that case, Lauren Faust straight up left the show instead of calling off the project. Hasbro went forward with the rest of the team for, sev uh, for seven remaining seasons. We got over the decade. It's weird that they scrapped the whole project so quickly in this case. This is a spicy situation all around so we will keep you all informed if more arise. There has been a bit of AI drama on Amazon Prime Video and in gaming it's already popping up everywhere with AI voice work being used in the FPS game the finals we are f in for a very interesting rest of the 2020s at this rate note we are getting reports that some of this info provided by the va might be inaccurate more on that soon hopefully so yeah mm, uh, i'm not gonna really comment on this one for now and let's move on to the next one <coughs> the voiceover drama french VA may have talked to fake Hasbro sources. Oh no. Um, let me just double check the dates. May 28. Okay, so this is a follow-up. Right. Plot taken. After loads of digging, G5 superfans have found who the French voice actor's Hasbro source is and determined that this person doesn't appear to be an employee of the company at all. While dub in other countries have fallen massively in quality, it's most likely that they are simply using low-end studio rather than AI. Sorry, than actual AI. Of course, more things could change at the moment. Notice on this juicy mm, moments uh, at uh, moments. Notice on this juicy story. We still haven't seen any response from Hasbro yet. Hopefully they can clear this all up for absolutely for ab for absolute good. For now at least it seems AI was not the reason for the shutdown of Make Your Mark. And it is not being used for voice work in non union countries. That being said, AI tools are completely different beasts. And finding 
artificial artifacts in the voice work might do sorry, might be due to this rather than due to the entire thing becoming recorded in AI. Most companies are using some sort of AI at this point just due to being baked into every modern creation software out there. Low, lower the pitch fox for now. When it comes to this technology, it's going to be harder and harder to tell. Now back to ponies. Okay. <clears throat> Hasbro confirms stance on not using AI for Make Your Mark. So, um, for the podcast listeners out there, um, it's a post by EQD on the Twitters, uh, posting saying uh, AI, uh, AI voice work drama continues, French heavy. So, the previous um, uh, news thing. And Hasbro, the official Hasbro <coughs> Twitter page or Twitter account, replied The My Little Pony Make Your Mark series has never used AI generated audio or visuals at any stage of its production. We are proud of our artists and actors who played a role in creating magical experience that brought our characters to life and connected fans across the world. So that's pretty good. So, <clears throat> uh, we are... <laughs> so, article from EQD says, We now have in irrefutable confirmation that AI was never planned for Make Your Mark. We already debunked the French VA who was found to have received false information from a fake, fake Hasbro employee. But Hasbro themselves have dropped a rare response of a uh, wipe out any possible, uh, possible rumors entirely with their Twitter message above. Uh, in quote, yeah, uh, that's what I read before. Um, I've asked for confirmation on Tell Your Tale Season 2 dubs since people have been speculating that those are AI for weeks now, but but on the Make Your Mark front, at least, you can rest easy. And let's double check this one first. Okay. <clears throat> uh, no AI for Tell Your Tale or Make Your Mark confirmed from Hasbro. Um... Well, there you have it. Hasbro has officially confirmed that no AI has been used at all in uh, at all in entire of the G5 project, including Make Your Mark and Tell Your Tale. The rumors are finally squished. <coughs> uh, in a Twitter reply from Hasbro, the official Hasbro account, yes, we realized we hit reply too soon on our earlier posts. It is the weekend. Uh, is it the weekend yet? <laughs> to clarify, rather, uh, sorry, neither make your mark nor tell your tale have ever used AI generated audio or visual at any stage of the process. Um, what a wild ride this one has. So, yeah, that's the news for this week. And <coughs> this, this is pretty nuts so here so yeah i'm um, gonna switch to this one haha <laughs> um, no 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 facial camera for this time around so anyway um i i know i haven't been putting my two cents into the news yet but so here it is because I, i'm just going to go through everything and tell you guys what i think so here's the thing with the modern, with how things are going, AI generated work is going to. Is 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 an inevit. I'm sorry. It's an inevitability. It will come in some shape or form, and if you guys pay attention to the news, uh, Hasbro did open a what you call this job opening for AI. Uh, in terms of game design or something like that. But when... And this got a lot of people pondering, wait, what? Is this something uh, Is this something going to be 
done with Magic the Gathering or Dungeons and Dragons or something like that. <coughs> and they clarify that uh, this has nothing to do with uh, Dungeons and Dragons or Magic the Gathering. This is most likely something with their game projects. And by game project, it's not the creative department of it. It's more onto the medial task of compiling or something like that. Or maybe, maybe it could be just AI... Um, uh, AI um, NPCs, like making them uh, process stuff, like making them think and so on. And here's the thing where, personally for me, when when we do, <laughs> when we think about AI now, it's mostly in the creative sense. But way back when, when I think AI is mostly artificial intelligence where you teach a robot or a program to kind of how I, how do I put this uh, this is in my opinion how it it should work is if you guys ever played Smash Brothers for the Wii U or the Switch there and, and you use an amiibo you can teach your amiibo to play like you or play better than you so this was one of the few awesome features that I felt that, hey, this is pretty cool. Um, train my bot to fight like me and to be better so I could be better. But now, in this day and age, there's a lot of people using AI for creative works like art, music, literature, and so on. There's many, there's many layers to this. And I understand and I agree that using AI for this kind of purposes is a bit <coughs> cheating, especially how AI art works, where you train a bot to replicate or to emulate a person's work. And if, let's just say, if I train my own bot to emulate my own work, that would be awesome, but would it be? Because technically, I didn't do nothing. Well, I did draw the stuff that I did to teach the bot to draw how I would draw. But beyond that, that's not my work anymore. That's done by a machine. And every creative... Uh, <coughs> uh, and everything that I do with the AI would be kind of cheating and so on. But, see, and this is one of those things where it gets complicated because I know a few artists who wants to get their job done ASAP, but not in this sense, like not by cheating, but it's hard. It's one of those things where it's difficult to get in because yeah, as an artist, I would like to finish all my commission lists as fast as possible so I can get more commissions, and more commission means more money. But I don't want something that was made, not, not made by my own hands, but <coughs> made by, um, sorry, I, I don't want something that it was not made by my own hands. I want that to be my own sweat and blood and tears somebody appreciate my work but nowadays with what I'm seeing out there is that some AI art is pretty good and it looks good but at the same time too is it your own work and here's, here's one of the few things that I can get behind AI art if you're using it personally, one, and if you're using it to, uh, two, as a D&D character generator thingy, like you have a character, you want to do the art, but you don't really want to spend much because you don't have a affinity for the character yet, so you probably just say, okay, 
um, type into what kind of AI generated thing saying I want to create a halfling uh, rogue who has brown hair and so blah 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 and so on so you just generate that and see oh, okay this works for me I, I, I'll dig it at least I have a art for the character that I'm playing and when time goes on and you feel affinity for the character and you say yeah I like this character probably I'll hire a artist to draw this character that I made and um, be more attached to it in that sense so that's how I would personally say that I'm cool with AI art as a jumping point for later things and a lot of games right now who do do that it for me I find it hard to defend and also not to agree with because you want to get those games out as soon as possible and let the audience play and so on but it's one of those things where I say that if it's in a creative sense that's where I draw the line but yeah uh, my ramblings of AI stuff is I, I don't know much I just don't like it old man shouting at clouds again but yeah um, that's the news for this week <coughs> so let's hop on to the next topic and next topic is what have I been doing with my week I know I know it's been one of those years where the show has gotten stagnant or slow let's just say slow and that's because well the news is one thing and it's just that a lot of things have been going on with my personal life and so on so for now uh, just gonna say that I'm still around I'm still uh, doing the podcast it's just that I'm doing it infrequently because of the news and so on and also busy schedule with works and even that so yeah right now I'm just doing whatever I can to keep on going yes so yeah um besides that <laughs> hmm uh, yeah besides that I'm pretty good um if you're probably wondering what have I been doing besides that um yeah uh been playing magic gathering uh, the community is um, stable uh, a lot of people coming in playing having a lot of fun uh, i think what last week we had three pods and by pod i mean we had a play group of three tables and one table is cons uh, consists of four players so we had about 12 people playing and mind you uh, 12 people playing their own game by the way um uh three pods so yeah um it doesn't sound that much but for how how it was for how we don't really have a huge play group this is kind of this is kind of awesome because we had people coming in so that's good that's good uh besides that um D and D's been going well uh, the gems been keeping the show going so that's good oh um just remember something my cat yes my my cat had a boo boo where i had to send it to the vet and that also caused me to um do a lot of work for the cat need to tend to its wounds and whatnot so yeah um poor kitty was in a very bad state but now she's doing well um she 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 is back to her old aggro self so yeah that's good so <clears throat> let's wrap things up let's wrap things up so anyway if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the mb show gmail.com you can also reach us on the twitter or better known as x now i don't like that name that sounds dumb and the show's Twitter account is at the MBS show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube and then forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. The links will be in the show notes. 
If you want to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you, sorry, with every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also a master of lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!